Hey there, Alex Mitz here with another Camtasia quick tip. Odds are at the beginning of this video, you saw my intro with my fancy logo and some of that cool music that's really well done that I pulled from some sort of stock library. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how I do that when my timeline gets a little complicated. Uh, so I keep this as a library item. I have my Mitz Tech intro one. And this isn't a huge deal if you're just working with a few clips like I am here. I could simply just drag this over, do a crossfade, and life is good. But when your timeline gets really complicated and full of stuff, you do have to click and drag and select a bunch of elements, maybe move them all over at the same time, zoom out a bunch, use other tricks to move your entire timeline over to the right in order to get that intro working right up front. When my timeline gets really cluttered, I usually drop the intro in at the very end, so here is what I do. I'll drop the intro in on its own track right above whatever is touching the beginning of my timeline. I'll move my playhead to the beginning, use this red thing, I wish I knew what this was called, to open up to the length of that intro. And if I right click on my timeline, I can insert time equivalent to my selection. So what I do is I'll insert that time, and boom, it inserts time right at the very beginning. I can then collapse this, slide my intro back, and now I've got an intro ready to go with the space right in the beginning. Insert time is a pretty handy feature if you need to insert time at the beginning of a timeline, and I hope that this tip helps you out.